What's up guys, Sandman coming at you, this time on a game review, I'm going to be talking about my experiences of playing Fallout Shelter on Xbox One since February, um, It's it's been entertaining, I've had a lot of fun, I played this game when it was new on Android, uh, about a year and a few months ago, before the release of Fallout 4, and I really enjoyed it on my phone, but it was a power, it was a battery killer, I, mean, I had a lot of fun, but... I have a Galaxy X6, and if a lot of anyone else out there has the uh, unfortunate uh, uh, fortune of owning that phone, you know that the battery life is just straight doo-doo on there. So uh, when I had the opportunity to get this on Xbox One, and especially it's free to play, uh, I really wanted to get back into it because I found the game quite enjoyable. The premise of this game is you are the overseer of your own vault you customize the vault the layout and you have to provide food water power medicine and happiness to dwellers that live in your vault it's your it's your uh, you know duty to provide and the game is free to play but there are you know in-game enhancements you can spend real money on to get the uh, your leg up and you know make things easier on yourself. I never felt that was necessary. The game provided enough uh, in-game currencies and, and, and ways to generate uh, money and resources to play it. So, um, one thing I will say, a big tip, is uh, make sure you're arming your dwellers and you want to put the right dweller in the right room to work. You want to grab someone, check out their statistics, and see if you hover over the different room types, they'll tell you what they're going to do in there as far as a number rating. And the higher the number, the better they're going to perform their job. So you want to put them somewhere they're going to be happy. The happiness, you're rated on that daily, how they're feeling, and you get currency, in-game currency bottle caps. So that's how you buy upgrades and... Uh, I'm currently at 80 dwellers. I've been playing since it came out in February. The great thing about this game is you can play it 15, 20 minutes a day and don't check it on it until the next day and you can still make progress. It doesn't require a lot of attention as long as you're checking on them. Um, much like the cell phone version. So This is also available on Windows 10 PC. Um, it's available on, you know, tablets and droids and iPhones, so, iPad. It's a fun game. It's set in the Fallout 4 universe. I love Bethesda. I love Fallout. Um, Todd Howard's team is my favorite game developer of all time. I mean, uh, I'm just a big fan. And, uh, another thing I would say is do not leave a lot of, as you see, I have 10 levels on my vault here. I'm 10 levels deep here. I got elevators on both sides. Um, you want to make sure you don't leave a lot of rooms in between unmanned because they will fall prey to occurrences that happen like uh, rad roaches attacking or uh, radiated moles or ghouls or just any other kind of threat that yeah, the wasteland has that will break into your vault. And if they go into a room where a fire will start um, and you don't have anyone there to contain the threat, then it can spread and you can lose a lot of people. In this playthrough, I almost started over because I lost a lot. I thought I think I lost 10 followers, dwellers, when I was like 35 plus people strong to a fire. It's easy for one of those catastrophes to take you out. But, uh, you know, I find the game fun. I like it. Um... But yeah, that's what I thought on that. Uh, looks like I'm about to be attacked by some feral ghouls, if y'all want to check that out. Uh, but I mean, for a free-to-play game, it's not bad. Any fans of Fallout, you know, should try it. And uh, any games of strategy games and, uh, you know, sim games, you know. Not really my forte normally, but since this is set in the Fallout universe, I have a lot of fun with it. So here come these ghouls. And my first line of defense is these well-armed uh, folks here in this uh, nuclear power room. I'll fill them up with uh, 
radiation medicine and two are down and the other three are going beneath to the next level which these guys aren't as strong but <clears throat> but yeah that's what I think of Fallout uh, Shelter hey guys just wrapping up my review on Fallout Shelter I wanted to give you the score on it. Uh, we we find it to be a game uh, for free to play, and if you're not going to drop any real cash on it, which I wouldn't suggest doing, um, I'd give it a solid six out of ten for what it is. It's a it's a good strategy um, farming system kind of game, god game, um, set in the Fallout universe. So for what it is, it's a good time waster and a good. Uh, I've, I've gotten like 300 gamer score out of it in achievements and that's just a quarter of what's in there um, so yeah big fan fallout fans and Bethesda fans and fans of strategy games there's it's worth trying out for free so uh, and that thanks for watching and if you want to see more game related videos please comment below would you like me to review and talk about and uh, we got Mass Effect later this month Andromeda uh, Xbox getting that first because of EA access so that's kind of cool so we'll see you guys on the next one thanks for watching Sam in out